In the last episode, we pulled the old brake calipers and drums off the El Camino, cleaned them up, and refinished with Dupacolor caliper paint. In this episode, we're going beneath the car to remove the old gas tank and spray the chassis with professional undercoating. Welcome back to the Dupacolor Garage. We are out here working on Project El Camino. This is our 1979 Chevy El Camino that we pulled out of its 10 year slumber. Now we've done a ton of work to this car so far and we have a whole series of videos. So if you're just joining us now, make sure you check back on our channel for more of that content. Also, don't forget to subscribe. But we have a lot going on with this car. Pulled it out of storage, got it running. We did find out in the process that there are some mechanical issues and one of those issues is the gas tank. The gas tank is crushed, has a hole in it. So Mark is actually underneath there removing that tank. We have a brand new tank on order and it should be here pretty much any day. So of course, as we're waiting for parts, we got to work here. We pulled the original engine out, refinished it completely with Duke Colors engine enamel. Since the engine was out, we also refinished some of the uh, accessories, components with the VHT Wrinkle Plus and other colors from the engine enamel line. When the engine was out, we also refinished the entire engine bay with VHT's roll bar and chassis paint. Also hit the chassis and then still wait for parts, move down to the brakes. We keep rolling here. Refinish the brakes with Colors caliper paint. Have those just about buttoned up. So as we continue to wait for parts, we continue with the build. Now we're going to be focusing our attention underneath the car, applying our Dupa Color Professional Undercoating with Sound Detonator. Now this car is actually in pretty good shape underneath. It wasn't exposed to a lot of salt or really any uh, harsh climate. So what we want to do is protect that undercarriage with the undercoating. So we're gonna give it a real nice new look, nice black look and keep things clean. So as Mark uh, continues on, oh, hey Ben, what do you got? Hey guys, the new gas tank just arrived. All right, nice, nice. All right, so the gas tank is, uh, Nice shot of you in that box. Mark will be getting that gas tank pulled out. So once the gas tank is pulled out, that'll leave us a large exposed area to go ahead and get some undercoating up in there as well before we put the new gas tank in and plus we'll finish it off with new gas lines as well. So we get this engine fired back up. All right, as mentioned, we're gonna start focusing on the underside of this car, getting it all cleaned up and prepped for some undercoating. You know, this car doesn't have a whole lot of rust underneath, which is really good, but there's still some loose rust, grease, dirt, because this old engine had some oil leaks. So considering, you know, this isn't really a paint project, we still wanna make sure that we treat it like a paint project because when applying any type of coating on a surface, you need to make sure that surface is good, clean, and dry so it has something Good to bond to. Also, we're gonna go ahead and clean this surface. A couple different ways we're gonna go about doing that. We do have a Dupaguller grease and wax remover. We have the bulk, we can literally pour that onto a rag, wipe it on the surface, get it good and clean. We also have our aerosol as well. So we'll get to cleaning, go ahead and put down some undercoating. All right, so we have everything pretty much cleaned up and ready for the undercoat. And something that I knew that this car had just because of the history uh, the car has with Dupacolor is it has an old electric fuel pump, which was always an annoyance to me. It's extremely loud and it also failed all the time. It was either vapor locking, uh, getting some air in the system or the wiring was faulty. So there's all sorts of zip ties that I had to cut out of here, holding everything together. And uh, we just wanted to make the car more reliable. So went ahead and Disconnected this, going to remove it, and we converted the motor back to a mechanical fuel pump so we won't have to worry about any faulty electrical work or uh, vapor locking over time. Just getting rid of the old stuff, putting in that new pump, and getting this out of the way. Uh, 
because I don't want this covered in undercoating and then have to remove it later. So just kind of removing things and also have an old exhaust bracket here as well. There's a nice new exhaust and just some old residual parts that we just need to get rid of before we go ahead and undercoat it. All right, so Ben and Mark finished cleaning up the underside of the car so it's ready for the undercoating. And I'm taking care of the uh, inner well here in the frame. And what we decided to do is pretty much replicate what we did on the other side when we half restored the car the first time is we undercoated the inner well and then painted the frame with the VHT roll bar and chassis paint. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna finish masking off the frame. We can hit the inner well with the undercoating. Hey, I need the masking tape. Yeah, here you go, Mark. All right, I'm ready to apply some undercoating. Have everything all cleaned off and ready to go. The frame is masked off. Uh, ben and Mark continue to work on the other side of the car, masking off the exhaust system because we definitely don't want to get undercoating on the exhaust system because it's just going to burn off and make a mess. So, ready to go. And it's pretty much just as easy as a clean surface. And hit the actuator. So this undercoating comes out with a lot of velocity. So you want to hold the can about 12 to 16 inches from the surface and apply as evenly as possible. Make sure you have good even coverage for uh, maximum protection. In the next episode, we unbox a couple new wheels to match our current ones and prepare them all for Dupacolor wheel paint to tie everything together. To keep up on the latest from Dupacolor, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and visit Dupacolor.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more great videos from Dupacolor.